Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Right, let's do it. Oh, and be it. Be Hippolito. Hippolito? Close. <sighs> Silencio! Damn it. Wrong. Failure. Damn it. You know nothing of this woman. What? She is an imposter. I don't know. Whoa. Her ship, so. to be digested. Uh oh. No, no, no. Let me try again. Why should I? Because you want to be sure you're not killing innocent tourists. Hmm. I suppose you are right. Plus, this is more excitement than I have had in years. Fine. Again. Nice one. So I guess it's not the name of Question Hippolito. Question number one. What was the name of her favorite pet? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. She, uh, she said Gomez not on the carpet or something like that. So Gomez. 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 Correct. Yay. No way. Impressive, huh? Question number two. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? Oh god. Uh, I guess whoever was on her sword. What was the name? It's engraved with a name. Dante Dragota. Dan Ooh, him. He sounds tough. Or her. Or whatever. I guess Dante is a guy's name, so. Dante. Dante Dragota. Correct. Yay. The third and final question. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle what? Oh god, there was a funeral payment on the list. But I think this? the name on An it assassin's was... Assassin's Ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Yeah, but it, sh she paid two Nuni, not four Nuni's funeral, so... I guess not Nuni. Uh, am I supposed to know this from these things? I guess Mumble. This is for Chugbender. Chugbender. Maybe it's Chugbender. Her tattoo was Gus. We use the sword thing. There, there's nothing on the list. The second Mumble was Gomez the dog. So yeah, I guess Chugbender. Gideon. There's no Gideon, I think, on the list. And no Toro as well, I think. But I'm not really sure. So Jugbender, maybe. Hopefully. Jugbender. Correct! Yay! How? Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. No, oh, it's alright. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Well, now, about this sponge. Not like this. The one you are not after. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. Pookie Pie. Well, perhaps <laughs> you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm Gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Sponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? Stool sample? <laughs> no, you look like a man of fair constitution. Ooh. Now, any questions? What's up with uh, this, these games and body, bodily functions and fluids? Mm. Right. These sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande? That's correct. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Well, not really. Manatee's fucking is not my idea of hot. Alright. You have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? <laughs> I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago with four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. The belly of the beast. Torturous demise. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh my, they are still alive. Just down the... Down in the belly. Alright. When are we due to arrive? Wifey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? 
His plumbing is still in working order, <laughs> but his internal plumbing. compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within humanity's inner ear. So I'm yeah. crafting him a new one. I agree. That guess explains so. the spinning. How are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. You. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. It looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Yes. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. Yeah. I'm not you letting are. you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Guy brush. Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa. Uh oh. Rats. Oh god. All right. <laughs> the manatee on the duck. That seems wrong. All right, my dog is getting restless, so soon as we stop I will stop for a sec Smooth. thanks for the push I've never seen an epiglottis before what whoa uh -huh. <laughs> drink <laughs> jug jug uh, I think jug we just jug. found Kava's crew what yeah. say you digested scum uh Alright, uh, I stop here for a sec and we'll continue. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, who is this guy? <laughs> scum TM. Hey, who are you calling scum, Geppetto? You! Uh. Welcome to paradise! Hello. Paradise? A land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the i you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Cochlea. Hey, we've got... That's yeah. enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood, the brotherhood? of Steel. The democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. <laughs> united we stand, together we party. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay, but please don't rock the manatee. All right. Here's the plan. You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. A square playing the bongos shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. <laughs> no, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Dekava and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Talk? <laughs> Mighty pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. Mo, well, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. <laughs> Fine. But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. I guess we'll be running. <laughs> yeah. So, can we go back to... Yeah, we can. All right. So let's see what we have here first. So plans. Dekava's plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear, or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted by a whack job. Hmm. Right. So, let's see what you have here. Cochlea shard. Dekava's homebrewed cochlea. It should be ready in a decade or so. Yeah. Uh, let's give him the this little grub anyway. Splendid! You found a manatee throat grub! Let's build a cochlea! That's the plan! Only 99,999 left! What? Uh, come again? Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk, by calculations I'll need another 100,000! Come on! <laughs> right! This is no laughing matter, Thrip Willow! 